Daniel returns to his home, still a very young man, but feeling inside, aged beyond belief by the, by the, by the experience of the trenches. And like quite a lot of ex-soldiers, he starts to try and build up a life out of nothing and he creates this little small holding. Um, and he makes some decisions which turn out to be terribly destructive, terribly dangerous decisions. He's also going over and over and over and over in his mind what has happened in the trenches, what he did, what he didn't do, should he have done this, should he have done that. And he has been living, he, he says at one point he, has a, he knows more people now among the dead than among the living. And you have to think what a, what a thing that is for a young man in his early 20s to be able to say with truth. So in a sense, to, to reintegrate into the world of the here and now, the everyday, among people who haven't been away, who don't know what he's talking about, very, very difficult. Um, so he's very alone and yet also longing for connection. Daniel has gone through the war as a private soldier. He's been in the trenches, which is a very, very hard experience to imagine. One of the things he's found there is an intense solidarity with the other men in his platoon, which he's never really experienced before. And it is an almost a, a kinship, really. Um, living together, eating together, filthy, dirty together, in the mud together, drinking together. Um, it, he's been transformed by that experience, and yet he's got to deal with the tragedy of losing his dearest friend and, and his own sense of responsibility and guilt. So as we meet him in the novel, he is preoccupied. He's preoccupied by those key moments in his life. He can't quite get away from them. And yet, like all He's also looking forward, he wants to live, he wants to create a life and he's not quite sure how he's going to do that.